I'm going to show you an example of a regular octagon inscribed in a circle with a radius of 10. This is like number 6 on your e-learning assignment. The number's different, but it's similar to number 6. So, um, we need to find the area of the circle. So, to find the area of the circle, we're going to use the formula pi r squared. Okay, so this problem gives us the radius, and it says the radius is 10. So we're going to plug 10 in for r. So we're going to get 10 squared pi, which equals 100 pi. And we want to leave our answer like that for now because we want to leave it as exact as we can. So that's one of the values that we're going to subtract in the end. Okay, so what we want to work on next is finding the area of the octagon. So in order to find the area of an octagon we need this triangle and you can draw that out to the side if you want to. Um, and we need to figure out what we can about this octagon. So eventually we're going to use the formula one-half apothem times perimeter. Well I see that I'm missing the apothem which is here well, I'm also missing a side measure, so I'm going to have to find both of those. So, um, in order to find those, we need to use trig. So, in order to use trig, we need this angle. So, to find the angle, that's where you do 360 divided by the number of sides, which is 8, and that gives you 45. And then we're going to divide that by 2, because the 45 would give you the triangle if it were drawn like that. So we only need half.